Our trip to Southeast Asia had us visiting five different countries. Here are three experiences that were truly amazing. Our first stop is Halong Bay. We were surprised to see the incredible development happening all around this area. There was a huge Ferris wheel, cable car, and massive developments with hotels and sport complexes. We boarded our private boat, the High Long Dream, and headed out to see the incredible rock formations. These majestic rocks rise from the water and produce such a beautiful sight. We spent more than two hours gazing at these natural wonders that have been designated an UNESCO World Heritage Site. Our guide told us tales about many of the formations and shared with us those that had special names based on legend and folklore from the Vietnamese people. Our captain guided us to a stunning grotto where the Thien Cung Caves were located. These caves are known as the Heavenly Palace and stretch over 10,000 square meters. The caves were discovered in the 90s but date back 2 million years. The stalactites and stalagmites are very impressive as they hang from various levels and the numerous unique shapes are lit with different colored lights, giving the area an eerie but fascinating feeling. It was a truly magical place. Moving on to our visit in Hanoi, it was an adjustment to walk in the streets. Our guide taught us to walk slowly but confidently and to never stop in the road. Once you start across, you continue moving and do not stop. It was actually amazing once we did it a few times. On our food tour in the Old Quarter, we visited several food shops that are each known for one unique dish. You go from place to place having one dish at a time. We tried rice rolls made with pork, chicken and eggs, beef noodle soup and fish rolls that were made with very fresh, tasty ingredients. We also visited a beer garden and sat perched on small plastic chairs watching the chaos in the streets pass us by. Everything we tasted was excellent. The final experience was the train market outside of Bangkok. Our initial walk through the inside market was fascinating. This market had fruit, vegetables, meat, seafood and snack items. It was huge. We stopped at a few stalls to look at some of the specialties including the vibrant pink eggs, otherwise known as century eggs. This is a delicacy of preserving eggs in a mixture of clay, ash, salt, quicklime and rice hulls for several weeks to several months. The yolk becomes dark grey and the white becomes a dark brown jelly. Once you got past the very different colour, the egg didn't actually taste much different than a salty boiled egg. Many tourists visit the market specifically to see the train come down the tracks where vendors have their items laid out. As the train blows its warning horn, the awnings are closed and some items are pushed back. However, many of the fruits and vegetables are strategically placed so that the train will move right over them without touching anything. It is quite a sight to see. People are also riding the train and hanging out the windows to enjoy the view from up top. This process is repeated six times each day. Once the train had passed through, we walked the length of the tracks through the market until arriving at the station. The myriad of foods was amazing, from run-of-the-mill veggies to exotic fruits to live fish and grilled frogs, this market had it all. The smells, sounds and sights cause your senses to work overtime. We're so glad we were able to experience it. There is so much to experience in this part of the world. Call me to talk about creating an exciting adventure for you.